hello hello i'm janice and i hope you're all doing well in today's video we are going to be um going to a malatang place here in sydney now i'll talk a little bit more about that when that segment in the video comes but malatang for me usually is more like a dinner option because i want to go all out and eat as much as possible so right now we're actually in Parramatta car park i'm meeting a couple of my friends for brunch slash lunch i'm going to take you there with me just to show you sort of what some of the options are available at this particular cafe and um and yeah so we're just gonna I'm just going to give you a little bit of a snippet of my day before the lead up into the main event of this video, which is the Malatang. Uh, so without further ado, I'm actually not late. Without further ado, let's go and head to that cafe. Okay, we've just arrived at Little Miss Collins here in Parramatta. It's about a two minute, no, actually, I take that back. It's about a five minute walk from Parramatta Westfield. What I have ordered is I've got myself an oat latte and I've already had uh, a coffee today, but I can't not have coffee when I come to a cafe. Initially, I was gonna get a buff, uh, uh, what was it called, beef sandwich? But then I couldn't take the cheese out. Oh yes, I got the beef brisket sandwich, but I couldn't take the cheese out, so I changed to like a brekkie plate. I'll show you what it looks like when it gets here. We also ordered a bowl of chips to share. I think it has like garlic aioli or mayo to dip. My friend got a chai latte. My other friend got a soy cat, which used to be my go-to order. Anyway, I'm just gonna dig in. I'll show you, I'll check in with you again when my breakfast plate arrives. The food has just arrived. My friend has a Portuguese chicken sandwich. My other friend has, what is it, a kofta bowl? Uh, and then I just got like a brekkie plate. When they gave us our food, they were like, these are like our most popular dishes. So mine just has, um, I think two pieces of toast. It has eggs, it has kale, a massive tomato, some bacon. But I'm gonna dig in, because I'm really hungry. All right, I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, we are now done with brunch at Little Miss Collins here in Parramatta. I actually got to go to Homebush to go pick up some stuff and then we are going to go home and then, and then it is the main event of this video. We are going to go to Malatang. That is, that's pretty much it. All right, we are now back home. I've actually been back home for a while now editing, which is the story of most of my weekends, but the time has come now for the main event of this video. We're now heading to Malatang, which um, is one of our favorite places to go if we don't feel like cooking. Now, Malatang has become more and more popular, especially in the last couple of years. I see more and more of these shops open up here in Sydney. Um, there is like quite a number of them in the city and the one that we're going to is a, is a favorite of ours. I'm going with my siblings and I can't wait to show you sort of some of my favorite items to get when we're there. So without further ado, let's head there right now. We are en route to Eastwood. We're heading to Eastwood for our Malatang feast. Well, I wouldn't say it's a feast. I uh, Maybe, depending on how much I order. I've told my brother and my sister that they can order as much as they want to their heart's content. Because I, I want to see how much it would actually cost. Like for me, usually I, I spend about 12 to 15 bucks. Um, and I want to see like compared to, to my brother, who's like, I eat so much. Um, I just want to see how much. But anyway, whatever we order, you will see. Whatever we eat, I will show you. And uh, we're nearly there. 
the traffic isn't too bad today. I hope I don't jinx it. I hope I don't jinx it when we get to Eastwood because finding a park in Eastwood is always like, it, it, it raises my heart rate up. So I'll check my Fitbit to see how my heart rate is when we go find a park. Anyway, we're nearly there. I'll check in with you when we get there. We are trying to find a park right now. I jinxed it. It's pretty much impossible to find a park in Eastwood, especially during like dinner time. Actually, any time is always difficult to find a park, but um, I actually haven't been in this car park in a long time. This is the car park where um, someone actually parked into the wall and fell off the side. Like, it's crazy. The things that happen in Eastwood. There's so much happening in uh, Eastwood today. There's like a, I think there's like a talent show back there. Anyway. We will not get distracted, even though I'm very easily distracted. And we're going to head to Malatang right now. Okay, we have just arrived at number one Malatang here in Eastwood. It is on the Chinese side of Eastwood instead of the Korean side. And if you haven't been to Malatang before, essentially it's like choose whatever you want um, in your bowl of noodles and then uh, how much you pay is how much it actually weighs when you put your bowl on the scale at the end. So there's a whole variety of different items that you can choose. You can choose the type of noodles that you want. There is a variety of different type of meatballs. You have fish balls, you have beef balls, you have lobster balls. And then you move on to items such as tofu, such as tofu skin, such as mushrooms. You can choose a range of different vegetables as well, like wham box, some Chinese cabbage, some guy lime, you know. And they also do a variety of different meats. How heavy your bowl is, is how heavy you're gonna pay. So I'm just gonna order my typical bowl and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go. All right, we are gonna go with Morris's first. He was just shaking out the water to get rid of the water weight. Are oh, you gonna have instant noodles? Yep. What is that? I don't know. Can you do it slower, please? <laughs> is that all the yun you're getting? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! It's a gum doll of quail eggs, sir. Yeah, I usually light up on it. Well, there's a lot of cholesterol, bro. I don't know. That's a lot of quail eggs. You can't go to Malatang and not get quail eggs. When I'm hungry, like I'll get this much. It's like find some meat whenever I'm eating my noodles. You won't need to find them. It'll be very visible. And I've never done. That's usually my get up. Let's guess how much it's gonna weigh. He said it's gonna be 900. I think it's gonna be around $25 all up. 25 to 26 bucks, which is a lot for my All right, my brother ended up spending $26. Let's see how much damage my sister does. Oh. Okay, some beef balls. Yo, he took all of them. There'll be none left for me. Morris took like nine quail eggs. That's so bad for you. Yeah, I know. What is that? Beef fries. Let's see if you beat Morris. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay, now it's my go. How do you shake off the water? Just like this? Okay, so first up, we got to choose our noodles. You know what, I'm going to get vermicelli. And then I'm going to get some balls as well. Now we move on to the next section, which is like, what would you call this section? Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous, indeed. 
I'll get a frozen tofu as well. Usually I would also get like some sort of beef ball, but units took all last three, so I have none. Next up, we move on to the veggies. Some wambok, which they will end up cutting. And then I get some, in terms of protein, you have all the different meats that you can choose. So I'm just gonna get some beef. One, two, three, for good measure. That's pretty much all I want. I got more than I usually do. So this will probably come to around I think 15 or 16 dollars definitely not as much as yours which was like 28 but we'll see thank you all right so the food has just arrived i ordered what i typically order which came to like 13 dollars i told my sister and my brother to go all out and it came to like 26 and 27 dollars respectively i got the tomato soup which is what i typically get because i can't get things that are too spicy my sister is very kind she's letting me try her soup base thank you very much i'm gonna take a i'm gonna take a sip the broth is a little bit spicy, but it's actually nothing that I can't handle. But my favorite is always the tomato broth, so hence why I go for that. Can I take one of your al, al yun as well? Not bad. Okay, thank you very much. I ended up adding garlic sauce, peanut sauce, and also pepper oil. I'm gonna mix it all up and we are going to proper dig in. Okay, before we start, let's try the tomato broth first. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, in terms of the noodles, so this is the vermicelli um, noodles. It's it's more like glass noodles, if anything. You have to be careful of how much that you eat because it expands in your stomach. Like I said before, um, my go-to noodles is the, it's called tolsak mean, like knife cut noodles. They don't have it here. They do have it in the city. There's another place in the city that I really love. I'll, I'll put it in the description as to where it is. This is the vermicelli noodles. You can see the color of the broth influence the color of these noodles, which means the noodles taste like the broth. This is why I always get konjac in hot pot. It kind of soaks up the flavor of the broth. The tomato soup here is not bad. You can still taste a little bit of like the numbing flavor on your lips. This is a tofu fish. It's like a fish ball, but in the shape of a tofu. I really like it. I always get this when I go hot pot. This one's usually pretty good um, with any sort of hot pot or like noodle dish. So I would recommend getting that. Um, in addition to this, this is the beef ball that um, I had to take off my sister. I already know that this is gonna be good. I love beef balls, just the texture and the flavor of it. Something that my sister gave me it is the pig jelly. It's like pig blood. I never usually eat this, so thank you Eunice for letting me try, but I don't, can I give it back to you? I don't really like it. Alright, in terms of meat, I usually just get fatty beef, that's my go-to. Sometimes I'd get pork as well, but um, I'm pretty boring in the sense of like, once I find what I like, I just keep going back for the same thing. So I, I never get lamb, I don't like lamb. Usually I think that there's a high possibility that it's going to be too gamey. Like, I wouldn't say like, you know, the beef is the most tender beef I've ever had, but it's kind of like hot pot beef, the fatty beef that you have in hot pot. So it's got like two different types of textures um, and it takes on the flavor of the broth. Oh yeah. Next up, we have the lobster ball. It has like bits of red pieces throughout it. I'm not really sure what it is. It doesn't really taste like lobster. It just tastes like another version of like, fish balls all right my brother took nine quail eggs so i was like you know what i'll help you eat one so we've got one quail egg in front of us it's okay i just don't know how he eats nine now one of the mushrooms that i always get is anoki mushrooms it's something about the texture something about the flavors i just love it Something about this with fatty beef in a pot just makes it delicious. And the vegetable that I always get is wambok because I find that it um, it takes on the, the flavor of the soup as well. I find that the soup is so important. Uh, I like tomatoes, so I always get tomato soup. All right, we are just done with malatang. We finished all of it. Like I left a couple things in the bowl because I just couldn't finish all of it. But I think it was pretty good effort overall. 
And uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. Have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, I told my siblings that I was gonna shout them for dinner tonight and I forgot my phone, which is a problem because I use my phone as like my wallet, like my Apple Pay and stuff. Um, but don't worry, I just realized that I have some red pockets that I haven't opened in my backpack. So thank you very much to all the aunties and uncles uh, for Chinese New Year. So we are gonna be relying on this to pay for dinner. Uh, so yes, there was a hurdle, but we jumped over it. We're nearly there, like two minutes away. <laughs>